Hey, I just got done watching Trump's speech in Stanford, Florida. Trump took Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and the corrupt politicians to the laundry cleaners. He said he is going to go to the White House and he is going to clean out the swamp. He is going to ban lobbyists for five years with special interests within the United States and he wants a permanent ban on lobbyists with special interests from other countries. Wow. Listen to this guy. He wants to repeal Obamacare, the disaster of Obamacare, because it has brought even the middle class to their knees. America, we are the highest tax country in the entire world. This did not just happen overnight. He has exposed Hillary Clinton's lies again and repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly and so on and so on, etc., etc. And now Obama is even implemented in it by lying. By saying he did not know anything about Hillary not using a secure private server. But he knew about it the whole time thanks to WikiLeaks. Wow, it is just blows my mind how someone in their right mind who has a conscience can continue to support Hillary Clinton after all of these, all these facts, not opinions, but facts are actually coming to the light. And yet people still want to support Hillary Clinton when it is completely evident beyond a reasonable doubt without uh, uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt that she is 100% corrupt and that she is a corporate puppet for the special interest and the elitists to keep control to keep us completely poor and powerless and then Trump said he wants to fix the inner cities if you fix the inner city trust me your country would be so much greater bring he wants to bring back education he wants safe schools he wants jobs to come back to the United States how can you be against a person who wants to do these things wow there were blacks there with blacks for Trump, there are tons of blacks who are supporting Trump. Even Louis Farrakhan has endorsed Donald Trump, one of the most racist, militant blacks in the United States, has endorsed Trump and has encouraged his congregation to vote for Trump. Even a notorious racist sees the truth. He said that Barack Obama is an epic failure. What, like, have people lost their minds? Obama, I mean, um, Trump said he's going to do his best to make sure we do not have any radical Islamists getting into our country. He wants illegal immigrants to stop taking jobs away from the minorities here in the United States who are legal law abiding citizens. He wants blacks to stop being killed in the inner cities. How can you go against this man? There's one thing that I think is a uh, uh, should be a pivotal fo uh, focal point that Trump actually said was, come on, the Democrats have had control for a hundred years and majority of these black communities and look at the black communities what do you have to lose give me a chance I will fix your neighborhoods it's not the government's job now okay but this is what he's saying and I truly believe in him then he was talking about foreign trade how the Democrats have completely screwed this country and educationally wise they have screwed this country they are revisionists they have an agenda to get rid of the Christians to dumb down the masses so they can keep control and they want illegal immigrants to be here in this country so they can keep voting Democrats so the Democrats can stay in control and they can completely defeat I mean deplete our country of its resources and our education 
and also our self-identity. And so that the rich elitists can have their one world government. Hillary is a corporate puppet. She is endorsed by all the major corporations and even Fox News claims to be conservative, but they have endorsed, they have endorsed Hillary Clinton. Come on, people. Wake up. Come on, wake up. People, I've I've heard people say this for so many years that the politicians are corrupt. We have a chance from an outsider to go into the White House and clean it out. As uh, as uh, Trump said, drain the swamp. What are you guys waiting for? This is your opportunity. Make sure you vote for Trump. I am definitely, without a doubt, unequivocally voting for Trump. So, anyway, I'm just ecstatic right now because that speech was epic. All of his speeches are epic. He said he's going to represent every community. Oh, wow. Make America great. Trump 2016. Blacks for Trump. All right. Until next time. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.